What's up guys and gals? Welcome back to the Nerd Castle. Today in the world of indie games, we are checking out Bomb Squad Academy, where we are going to learn to disarm bombs using all kinds of gate logic and stuff like that. Expect this to be a total buster of clucks. There will be no way around this. It's going to be a mess. I'm not good at stuff like this. Have you ever seen Splattercat do a puzzle? Have you ever seen Splattercat read? Those two options right there are leading into the fact that this is probably an avenue of work that I should not have, but in the pursuit of finding awesome indie games, I'm going to do it anyways. I'm going to suffer through this for you. I'm going to make myself look like an utter idiot for you because that's the love I feel in my heart. All right, so welcome to the Academy. Let's jump right in and review the basic of electronics. Electrical current goes from circuit to circuit like water. Batteries are the current sources. They will always supply current to connected components. Switches control the flow of current. The switch is preventing the current from reaching the buzzer. Try flipping it. Okay. We've played operation and apparently we have lost. Great, the current now flows to the buzzer as you can painfully hear. Oh my god, what is happening? LEDs are small lights that turn on when current is flowing through them. They can help you quickly see the state of the connection. See if you can turn all of the LEDs on. Okay. So there's our current right there. There's our current right there. And, oh. That one was already open. Okay, sounds good. That was easy enough. Alright, a detonation device. Oh my god, what is this? It looks dangerous! This box is a detonation controller. You have to disarm it before the timer runs out. Don't worry, though. There's plenty of time on the clock for us to go over how it works. Look, this device has four pins. One power pin, one detonate pin, and two disarm pins. So those are the two disarm pins. Gotcha. Be careful. The detonation pin will trigger the bomb immediately. To disarm it, you got to activate pin A and B. You could also cut the power all together, but that's not possible in this case. Because the power pin is connected directly to the battery. Go ahead. Try to disarm the bomb. All right, so under no circumstances do we want that to go to here. So that goes on, that goes on, and that goes on. Fantastic, you didn't fall in the trap and we all get to live. Huzzah. All right, this is your first real test, good luck. All right, so we got one minute. We got A, B, and C need to be taken care of in order for us to do our thing. That's the power grid right there that's going around. I can just kill the power, right? Yeah, I was gonna say, like, I could go through all the methods of disarming this thing, but, like, we could just kill the power altogether by removing the battery from right there, and then you'd be good to go. I mean, we can replay it, and you can do it the other way, too, I think. Like, I think you could probably go, like, let's see, we've got a double, oh, never mind, that's rigged up to detonate no matter what I do, so I could go right there, and I could go right there, but yeah, I mean, you have to kill the power. That's the only way to do it. The C junction is not accessible. Okay, so that's fine. Get ready for your second challenge. Good luck. Hurry. What does hurry mean? Oh, man. So we need A, B, and C. Detonates on D. Battery power is running to there. We have no way to switch that off. We'll go on, off, on. Okay. On. And then this one right here. We need that to go to off, on, and on. Done. Done. We did it. I am a bomb squad mechanic. All shall worship my magnanimous power at diffusing explosions. Alright, that was great. Now try this one. This one looks more complicated. Alright, so we've got A and we've got C. So we'll go right there. That needs to be on. That needs to be on. We'll go from B to there. And then from C. C goes to there. Then it goes to there. That's on, and that goes to the detonator, and there we go. Perfect. Done. I find that I work better if I go backwards. If I go forwards, it's more confusing. If I start from, like, when I used to play games like Pipe Dream or whatever, or, like, Solve Mazes, or Mazes, I always found it easier to go backwards than forwards. I don't know why. All right, so now you'll see boards with wires. Wires work just like traces. They allow current to flow from one component to another. However, small wires, like these, can be cut. Go ahead, turn the four LEDs off. All right. Done. Excellent, but remember, just because you can cut a wire, it doesn't always mean that you should. 
because you can't uncut a wire. All right, let's start things off slowly. Let's defuse this bomb. All right, so the power is going to there. Uh, we need that to go to A. That takes a junction from there. Oh, I see what happens. Okay. I see what happens. That's a loop back that goes around it there. Gotcha. I see what happens. How about this mess of wire? Oh, my God. Okay, so the detonate wire is right there, and if power goes to that, we, like, die horribly. So, that should be good? Yeah. I think we're solid. Uh, I think all we had to do right there was snip that one wire, so yeah, we're good. Alright, one more circuit with a lot of wires. Be careful. Alright, so we've got A, B, and C. That goes back to there. We'll turn that on. C goes to there, which goes back to there, which goes to the green wire. That green wire is the detonate wire. So that one needs to go away. Yep. And then I think we can just flick everything on. I kind of like this. Like, you got to use your brain a little bit. You can feel the juices flowing. Like, because you'll have, like, one conduit that's flowing in one direction, but it has, like, three wires coming off of it. And you're like, mm, that's not right. One of these is probably a bad wire. Two of these might be bad wires. Like you, you like you have to know you like have to notice little things that just don't make sense. You're like, mm, I know where that wire goes. Where does this wire go? Oh my god. Okay, so we're done with basic electronics. Now we got to do logic gates. All right, so let's look at our first logic gate. This red component here is an AND gate. The AND gate only lets current flow through if both inputs have current flowing in. Try for yourself. Okay, simple enough. Great, you're ready to do some work here. Let's test your understanding. Diffuse the bomb. So if both of these go to there, then it'll go to the detonate. But if only one is there, we should be all right. Yeah, like that's simple enough. Okay. The next board has a lot of switches. Maybe you should flip them all. Yeah, I don't think that's a good idea. That sounds like a mistake. I guess they were being actually totally literal. They just want me to click them all. All right, that was easy enough. I'm not gonna complain about it. That last board was pretty straightforward. Now here's a slightly more challenging bomb. All right, so disarm is that guy, detonate is that guy. We've already got power flowing to there. We need that to go to there, but under no circumstances do we want power to come from here. So we want that to be off, that needs to be on. That's good. And then yeah, there's nothing else to worry about. Like basically I find that if you can trace back the, the detonate pin, essentially, and you can just eliminate that, then you just click everything else on and you're good to go on most of these puzzles. I'm gonna guess you need to flip some switches and cut some wires, but, uh, who knows. Alright, with one minute left, our detonate goes right there. One of our gates is attached right there. We don't want that to go through, so we'll kill that. That can now be on. That goes up to there, which goes to one of our disarms. So we should be good. We need the second one to go out to there, and then, the, yeah, it should just resolve itself. Like, that, like, most of these puzzles are pretty simple. There's usually only one thing you need to deactivate or cut. And I think that's just because we're, like, in the little tutorial phase right now. This board is going to challenge you, I guarantee. But don't panic. You can do it. All right, so detonate. We got the gate right there. That's running over to there. We don't want that to trigger. I can turn that on. That goes... to there. And then we've just got to get the C gate over here. Oh! I looked at it the wrong way. I looked at it the wrong way. I needed to disable the one that goes to this rail, not to that rail. Guys, we're going to die. I think I messed up bad. I think I messed up real bad. I don't think there's a way to fix that. We cut the only junction. Yep, I made a mistake. Well, power it all down, everybody. Everybody cross yourselves. Uh, this is how we cross over to the hot country. Splattercat thought he was smart and jumped across. It didn't like, it wasn't like a huge challenge like I thought it was going to be, but you kind of had to fail in order to see the solution. Unless you were just like next level competent, unlike me. Goodbye world.
Goodbye, cruel world. Sorry, you're dead. All right, so we don't want to cut this guy. It was this one right here. Now that goes to that gate right there, and that goes to that gate right there, so it's that one. Yeah. Okay, we just we snipped the bottom one instead of the left one. You kind of had to fail that one, and the second you fail it, you see the solution. You're like, oh. Let's check out another couple of components. These are rotary switches. Rotary switches allow you to select which current... Oh, okay. All right. Sounds good. Try to turn on the display. All right. So it's got to go there, and that's got to go there, and that's got to go there. You do indeed. All right. So try to get the signal across from the in port to the out port. All right. Do those wires connect? Forget you wires, I'm cutting you even though I don't have to. All right, that goes over to there, that goes over to there, and we've got data out. Awesome, the signal is coming through. Rotary switches are pretty fun. Let me see if you can configure this maze. All right, so we've got disarm, which is on that center one right there. Uh, the red wire doesn't go to anything. That goes down. We gotta rotate that. I think this is already doing what I want it to do, isn't it? Well, I clicked that on purpose, but like... So that goes through to right there. So if I put that right there, that goes to right there, but I don't think I want that. I want that to go right there. And then I need that to go right there. Sorry, I was thinking, like, with the way that was angled, that it would bounce back, but it didn't work that way. This is just for receiving. It's not for sending. Well, actually, it is for sending. But maybe it has to be facing the same direction. But, yeah, like, I had thought that when this one was clicked down to there, it would bounce back this way, and it would just go around to there. And so when it wasn't working, I was like, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a second. All right, choose our path. We gotta disarm this bad boy. So we've got three paths right now. We click that on, and that's gonna give us a a disarm right there. Detonate doesn't even look like it's connected to anything, which is sort of interesting. I was gonna say, I think I could just deactivate it that way. Well, there you go. Like, I was going to try and disarm the whole thing, but a solution wasn't jumping out at me because this can only supply power to one disarming thing. So I was like, all right, the solution has to be these two configurations up here. And then I realized it was connected to the power grid, and if I just block that off, like, dun, 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 done. All right, this bomb is going to look hard, but you should be able to figure it out. Two minutes on this one. Okay. So let's, like, familiarize ourselves. If we fail, I don't really care. The first time it says start up top on it. So we've got one disarm right there. So obviously that needs to be on. That needs to root to right there. That wire, however... Okay, we can do this a different way. We can do this a different way. So this guy needs to go to there, and I don't think that'll have any bad problems. And then C... needs to receive from... I kind of feel like I'm doing this wrong. Well, maybe not. Maybe not. But, like, if I do that right there with the B right there... Oh, but we need the A gate to go right there. Yeah. Okay. Alright, well, let's go top to bottom. As far as this goes, we've got a wire right there that goes to right there, and that's going to take us to detonate. I need the power right there to go to there. And then we'll be good. But sending the power right there will also power that gate. So if I switch that, cut that, yeah, there we go, perfect. We have 14 seconds left, but I had to think about that one for a second. 
Like, this is a game of consequences. Like, everything you do has kind of, like, there, there's one right way to do this. And there's usually two or three points on the bomb. Like, so far, we've only had one point. This is the first place where we've had two or three points where, like, there's a specific set of actions you have to do as you logic through it in order to make sure that you don't blow yourself up. Good luck on this section's final circuit. It is particularly tricky. We've got two minutes. All right, so that's going over to there. Uh, detonate is linked to that right there. Is that cuttable? It is. Okay. All right. With the A circuit, we've got that guy right there. The B circuit is linked up to that double right there. I'm sure that wire is something sketchy. So we're over there. I need you to go to right there. That goes to there. That's going to go to C. Okay, C's done. Now to get B, I need both of these. So in order to get that... That's going down to there, but that also activated... Oh, I think I foobarred it. I think I foobarred it. Hold on. In fact, I know I did. Alright, so that goes to A. We can split the current? How do I split the current? Wait, what? It says split the current right there, but I don't know what they mean by that. Uh, let's just detonate it real fast. That gave us B and A, but I'm not seeing a lot of ways that I can get C. Oh, never mind. Jesus. Let me replay that one and logic through it, because I don't. I feel like I, I solved that one on accident just intuitively. And I feel like I need to know what I'm doing here. So that goes to there. So we've already got C. That goes to there. At all risk, we want to avoid that bottom junction right there going in. So don't click that and don't send anything this way. So I think what we did is we snipped that. We sent that that way. We had C already. There's C. Which then moved us up to there. I think I did it differently this time though. No, never mind. There it is. Okay, I see it. So we just had to, like, reroute that one really strangely. Like, we had to fiddle with that one for a second. Like, I, I feel like that was the first one that you could kind of solve intuitively rather than logically. Like, you kind of you could just, like, click on things. You could, you could see what was changing. I don't know. It felt more intuitive to me. The more components makes more complexities. Test your skills with more challenging circuits. Okay. Great job back there. It's time to learn about another logic gate, the OR gate. So that's where it's one or the other. The yellow is an OR gate. The OR gate lets clear our current flow through its output if either output have current flowing in. Try for yourself. Oh, so no matter what it goes through. Okay, I was thinking it was one or the other, but maybe that's XOR. I don't remember. It's been a while since I was a programming major. Alright, disarm the bomb. So we got an OR gate right there. That goes through. That's our detonator. Done. I don't know why I was making that more complicated. I thought I had multiple disarm lights. And then I looked at it, and there was only one disarm light. And I was like, oh, okay. Like, I made that one more complicated than I thought, because I just didn't even look at the display over here. I started looking at the puzzle without looking at the display. See, that's why I work backwards forwards. That's why, right there. If I had worked backwards, that would have been crazy easy. All right, so from A, we've got the gate right there. And that shouldn't matter. So there's A. Push. What happens when I push the button?
I need that off. Oh, okay. So I need that to go right there. And that to go right there. Oh, the ore sends the current through if there's nothing attached to that side. I'm sorry, I wasn't paying attention. Let me let me replay that to dedicate that to memory real fast because I did a stupid right there. I only clicked that because it was the last thing that could be clicked. Alright, so we take that and then we just go like that. Okay, makes sense. Alright. I just needed to like, I'm a person that learns by doing and by seeing. And like, if I just do it accidentally and I don't know what I did, I gotta go back and I gotta do it by hand in order to learn what I did. And I'm the kind of person that if I can do it like the right way one time, having somebody show me how to do it, I'll memorize it forever. But like, if I have to figure it out by myself, I tend to struggle a lot. Because I get all frustrated and irritated and flustered. So power right there. Now our detonator is an ore gate that goes through right there. But obviously I'm gonna need power to go through there so that that gate can go right there. Perfect. Worked out great. Worked out great. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. All right, so we've got an ore gate right there that's going to that side. We already have power going there. The detonator is the bottom one right there, so we want that to reroute so that we can take that and put it right there, and then we can put that right there. Perfect, easy peasy. We're not getting blown up today, everybody. I'm not gonna end up in bits and pieces. <laughs> Until they put a big red button in front of me. I'm like, ooh, what does that do? <laughs> I saw a big red button and I had to push it. I couldn't help myself. Alright, so the power grid's connected. For the disarm, we got an ore gate right there, which means we need both the power going right there. Or alternatively, no, we don't want this to be powered. If this gets powered, bad things are going to happen. So we need to switch that off, switch that on. That's going to go and feed into both of those gates. This one, however, is going to be inactive. If we wanted to be funny, we could reroute that to a buzzer right there. If we wanted to be humorous. There you go. And we set off a fun little buzzer along the way. The buzzer was completely optional, but I was like, ah, you know, why not do this with some fanfare? I'm all about pizzazz. If you don't have showmanship, what do you have in life? I needed showmanship. <laughs> uh, the next few bombs are going to test your skills, so good luck. Oh, I got one minute. Good lord. Alright, so A is an ore gate that goes down to there. Done. Uh, B is an and gate. Oh, I blew myself up. I didn't look to see what that connected to. Oh, there was a there was an adjoining wire right there. Cheeky bastard. There was an adjo I didn't see that little wire right there. All right, so we snip that guy, we turn that on, we turn that on, and then with C, C goes to there. The OR gate's gonna send that to there, though. And we don't want that. So that needs to be off, because that goes down to there. That needs to be on? Yeah, got him, okay. Man, defusing bombs is kind of terrifying. Like, you think you see the solution, but, like, you don't know until you flick that switch. Like, what if there was something you missed? You know what I mean? Like, it's kind of spooky when, like, you've got the puzzle solved down to the last switch, and you're like, I know logically that I've solved this, but, like, there's, like, this little primitive part of my brain that doesn't want to die and is, like, second-guessing me and being like, but what if you're wrong, though? We're going to be reduced to a fine red mist. And I'd be like, I know. That's why it's so scary flicking this switch. I'll see you all later. Thank you for stopping on by. We're out of time for the day. This game is called Bomb Squad Academy. I got a link for you down below if you wanted to download it for yourself. If you enjoy little logic gate puzzles and stuff like that, I think you'll have a lot of fun with it. I'll see you all next time. Take care, everybody. Hi, do. Take, take farewell luck. Bye.